Hey guys, I'm here. I'm gonna bring you some Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I actually recorded a whole hour of footage, but well, I, uh, I got corrupted. So I'm doing it all again. Here we go. Uh, Valentine, you've just drawn your own face over the character sheet. It said draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. Okay. And Fret, it says your starter sword does murder a thousand damage. Damn. My bad. I left off a zero. Fret's okay, no class. Fret's kicked up. Even Valentine can't be trusted with pencils, let alone dice. So it is up to you, newbie. You are the fate maker. Hang on, what am I here? No. And these fools shall be thine advisors, I guess. Fine. I advise that you better be a badass. We're here to slay evil and get gold. I know you see me as a role model. Follow my lead and you'll be a great fate maker. All right, one last thing. Bunkers and Badasses is a role-playing game, baby. That means you do not break character voice. Kapisky? Break me off a piece of that. I'm looking to find some coin. If I happen to save the world while I'm at it, so be it. You know, all I hear when he speaks is Vegeta and Piccolo. Uh, I don't see anything. You gotta imagine it, knucklehead. Just close your eyes and wonder. Queen herself! What could she want of us? She fears the Dragon Lord will soon reawaken! We must find his tomb and prevent his resurrection! What I'm hearing is, we get to whoop his ass! Uh, here's a little cheat sheet to track your health and map and stuff over. So, I'm only gonna keep recordings to about 30 minutes, maybe less. Because I don't want to waste an entire fucking hour. Cause I, uh, I was up at 4 in the morning before I had to go to work to record that video. Nothing freaking came of it, man. I'm sorry I've been away so long, but you... Work. But, uh, let's talk about happy shit. Stallion, she's guiding us on our quest. Sure enough, baby, a trail of spectral hoofprints leads off into the woods. That's my favorite way to open chests. A fallen tree bars your path. What you gonna do about it, huh? I cast Identify Tree. It's a species called Jumpus tutorialis, and weirdly, it only grows in this one valley. But, uh, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna be recording, uh, videos back to back to try and get a lot out. Ahead, the glint of edge steel beckons you forward. Some hot lumberjane has left her axe in a stump. Nice piece of steel, that. Love a good axe. Great cleaving, hacking, even a good old-fashioned chop-chop. Okay, so the magical hoof prints continue through the cave. The rocky ceiling dips low to the ground. A true fate maker knows when to stand tall and when to crouch. Yeah, work them sweet glutes. And if you get a running start and crouch, you'll slide around like a cool. It really feels like here. something should be over here. I played um, a little bit of this game by myself, and that's probably my favorite Borderlands game. It has some 
some of the best moments in Borderland history. I will say that. You have defeated the crabs. Luckily, they were carrying their life savings for some reason. All yours crabs now. have life savings. I think we killed everything down here. Climb There's something behind this waterfall. Oh, that's bullshit. Moving the mic farther from my mouth. Yeah, that helps with the audio. But yeah, um, with work and all, I haven't had any time to record in quite a long time. Uh, uh, that's life, you know. What's this? That's right. The queen has ruled the Wonderland since I was but a humble player, like you, Bing Bongs. She has foreseen your arrival and left a powerful weapon for you. The weapon of a fate maker. Oh my god. A doll it's pistol. A this thing's off rust, but it'll still put holes in something. I'd, all right, I'd, guns and fantasy? The most annoying part of this voice that I'm starting to realize is that this accent he's trying to put on with some of his words. Just go full Vegeta. Seriously, it'd be so much better if he just went straight to Vegeta. Uh, uh, I forgot to mention that I picked the sp what, spell, spellborn, spell something. Yeah, spell shot as my uh, as my class. Because uh, I tried Graveborn and Clawbringer, and um, they're, they're they're fun to play as. I prefer uh, the Graveborn a little bit more. The Dragon Lord. Or I'll make you a skeleton too. I don't know. I swear it on the Queen's diamond tail. Lies. You Ooh, you found a ward. That's like a magical shield above your health. True sweet. Huh. Yeah. Parkour. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh oh, a rock slide bars your way to the village. We're ruined. All is lost. Very heroic. Tina, can we blow up the rocks? Sorry, it's impossible. Without explosives! Victory! <laughs> I've never lost a ward! Ahead, you hear the roar of raging fire! And the clackety clackety. I am Prince Vegeta. Fire does not hurt Village me. Village is already ransacked and crawling with skilly men. We're here to avenge the village. Now, I will say, it does feel weird playing this game after playing Borderlands 3 for so long because you don't get a random legendary every five seconds. I was genuinely excited for the first legendary got, which was a fucking Rick and Morty reference. Cool. Hey, is that is that Aaron? Is that Aaron from Game Grumps? I know he voices the Demi Lich companion. Is he voicing like random skeletons?
Excuse me. Um, I will go with spell cooldown. Remains alive in the carnage. But she looks bad, baby. She looks like she's about to die. Might as well save her peasant ass. And turn you into a skeep. You You're a skeep. How can I ever repay you? That's awesome. I'm looking for the threat. You're a fate maker. I knew No, I'm a saying. The tomb is in the pits below the castle. You must hurry before his minions find it. The tomb is inside the crypt. The perfect hiding place. May the queen's favor see your noble west. My peasant ass is killing me. Damn, that's a nice peasant ass. <laughs> the ruins of Castle Harrowfast are just out yonder. Which is fantasy for saying. It's over there, baby. I sense the dragon lord's presence. His tomb is somewhere beneath these ruins. Find him, fellow skeletons. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we already beat the dragon lord. The gunplay uh, does feel a lot uh, tighter than the BL3 uh, sometimes. It definitely, um, they cut down on visual pollution. As uh, all Moe's mains will know, once you pull the trigger, you, you can't see shit. Uh, uh, the, the whole turning things into skeet things thing. It, that's a unique action skill, but uh, I don't know. I think uh, the more uh, the more I experiment with it, I like it more. But I think I'll be using the uh, the ambihextrous, uh, uh action skill more. I don't know, it moves Melee is a hell of a lot better in this game. What will fill my enemy's arts with the most dread? When you got more than one gun, you can switch between them. Keeps combat spicy, like Jambalaya. So, Tina, maybe after this quest, I could be the bunker master. I've been working on a campaign. It's got orcs and kissing. I'm not talking, but I'm trying to concentrate. I don't want to miss too, mu too many shots and end up looking stupider than I usually am. The last of the hero bloodline sits in her ancient throne, her bones clutching a dusty spell book as though awaiting a destiny that never came. Well, this place is super grim. I love it. Grab that spell book. Now, how do we get into the tomb crypt? There's got to be an entrance around here somewhere. It's hidden, 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 hidden. Smash time! Now that's more like it! The bone-dry air of the crypt whips past you as you 
hurtle down into the depths of the castle. It smells of old stone and all their secrets. You hear a rumble and a booming laugh that seems to come from all around you. <laughs> Never a moment's peace. That's for making me look at Prince Vegeta? I am a faith leader. You have answered smartly, baby! The carbon door to the Dragon Lord's tomb crumbles! The resurrection ritual has begun! I like Ribula, but he's no Mr. Bony Pants guy. Initiative! Tremble before Ribula! I'm not. Oh, I'm trembling! Kick his ass, Mercy! You think they don't keep me down? Me? Prince Vegeta? I'm gonna piss someone off. Oh, that's it. Oh god, I'm regretting choosing this voice now. Ready to bring the arcane pain! <laughs> Your boy's not looking up to the task, Dragon Lord. There's still time! You can seal the Dragon Lord away before he escapes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that in a second. I can get my loot. Alright. Onward. Not a chance. Not a chance. I know. I'll turn into a ski. Damn, thought that would work. than the ones she said before. Hmm. I wonder. Wonder if you're a bitch. I wonder. We'll meet again, Fate Maker. But for now, I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. See you around the neighborhood. Damn it, he got away? We gotta track him down. I want that big bad boss kind of loot. Who? Who? I've got all the magic I need. You know, I know, every time I play Sator, all I get is the, the doll shit. Is it always supposed to be doll? The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end <laughs> only one way, with the ultimate defeat of all evil. Despite your heroic efforts, the Dragon Lord has escaped! Wait a minute, did you hear what he said? Shiny, friend, neighborhood. I know where he's headed. He's after Queen Butt Stallion. To warn Queen Butt Stallion. Of All right, guys. I'm gonna leave the first episode off here. The next video should be up shortly. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye. Have a nice day.